This conference will now be recorded. So if you want to store a plain numbers, go for a byte, short, in, long. That too, uh, below 127, go for a byte. So below 32,767, go for short. So more than that, go for int, commonly used. And large number, go for long. And the number with the decimals up to four five, go with the float. So end with small f or capital F. So more than four numbers and decimals after your decimal point, go for a double. <coughs> right? Excuse me. So if you want to store a character, go for a character type. Boolean condition true or false, Boolean dead type. And more than one character, string here. And remember, all these data types are all lower, lower case. And here, string in a string data type, first letter is capital D. It's a capital letter. So string on string, this S is capital. Why? Because so this is also a a uh, predefined class in, in Java. This is also a predefined class. So already we discussed, right? So how to give the name for a class is camel case. First letter start with a capital case. Any subsequent word again, capital case. Here internally, this is a, this is a data type, and also this is a predefined class in a Java. We'll discuss in detail. So as of now, just understand the two things. Two things here. So one is string is a data type and also it is a predefined class in Java. So it is a class that's why starting of the string S letter is caps. Clear? Yeah. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions up to now. Whatever we discussed so far, installation, introduction, Installation of Eclipse, creating a project, class, package, right? So declaring data types, variables, variable name, anything. Up to now, please let me know if you have any doubts. Hope for, we have got a, got a chance to practice. Please let me know if you have any doubts. No doubts. Yeah. I had no, no doubts. Thanks. Ashwini. It's clear, no issues. Marish. Marish, we can't hear you. You can uh, send a message. Okay, I, I can hear. Yeah. So any doubts, Marish? No, no, I'm good. Yeah, thanks. So please do one thing, team. So if I take any sessions, so just practice. And after the completing of your practice, just do simple thing. Just copy your code. Just send it to me. Let's compose me, paste it here, and send it to me. That's it. So that I can able to understand whether you are practicing or not. And also, so I can able to uh, check where you're doing a mistakes. Just a simple thing. After completing your practice, just copy the code, send it to me. Definitely, yeah. I'll review code. Okay, cool. Right? Now, that's what about data types. So remember team, at least remember data types, no need to remember these ranges. So what are the data types? So what type of data we are storing, right? Single quotes for a cam, double quotes for a string, and a string is a first letter is S, capital. Remaining are lowercase team, all are lowercase, right? And now, see, if you want to declare a variable, how to declare it in, let's say, see, this is my class, a better, let me create one more class here in my test package. Let me create one more class. If you want, you can create a number of classes team. Right click on it. Package. What is in the package team? What is in the package? It's a folder structure in your project, right? So combining multiple classes. It is a combination of multiple classes. So arrangement, class arrangement. 
for convenience purpose if you want to take a group of classes first of all create a package under package create a classes so that you are grouping up multiple classes creating and how to give a package name package name right click and source code mm -hmm. okay very good right click and source code new package, new package. and what the pack mm -hmm. what the package name i can give here test package always reverse to your domain name yeah always reverse to your domain name right now already have a package here two packages so one of the package test package i'm creating a class go to new go to the class create any class as of now i'm giving my class name is demo that's it okay and by default take main method control space you get a main method how to declare a variable team how to declare a variable data so type and variable yeah. name and variable data type variable name equals to variable value. variable value right good data type variable name equals to variable value so if you want to declare any variable, this is a syntax team. So data type, you can take any data type. Based on your data, you can take any data type. Let's say I want to store a value 10.12. Which is the best one team to store this value? What is the best float. data type? Exactly. Float or double. So you can take float or double. This is the value left side. You can take a data type. So small case FLU 80 float and what is the next one here? Variable name. Name, right? Now here you can give a variable name. You can give anything as of now. I'm giving it. It's got. Why I'm getting here? There here end of your value. You have to provide either capital F or small. F. Right? Now this is a syntax thing. Now here to declaring a project name, we have to follow some syntax rules. To declare a package name, we have to follow some syntax rules. To declare a class name, even we have to follow some syntax rules. So again, to declare a variable name, again, we have to follow certain Java rules, right? Let's see. What are the rules we have to follow to declare for a variable, right? Now, here, let me discuss. So, variable naming convention, right? The first name here, always remember team. So, keep on repeating this one. So, you should not use Java resort keywords as your project name package name and class name even you should not use these real keywords as your variable you will get a error right now first point we keep on discussing you should not give java resort keyword Right now, in the second point here, always you have to remember. See, you have to start with the lower case team. Always, always variable value. So you have to start with the lower case. Better, let's give you this is the first point. Always start with lower case. So any subsequent word start with uppercase. See here, observe here. Here, so I have started with small d discount. 
and if you want if any subsequent word let's say discount value you have to give like this so even though if you give like this lower case there won't be it, it won't throw any error but this is a naming standard thing discount value see so in a discount value d have taken started with the lower case the value is subsequent word right i have taken b is a capital letter right team no confusion right so always you have to start your variable name with the lower case and any subsequent word upper case right and here by the time of declaring a variable value you should not give a space or anything or you should not give a special characters like this it throw error except underscore or except dollar so if you try to use any special character it will throw everything even space also not allowed clear so what the next point you have to remember here so no special characters including so other than no special characters except dollar and underscore so you should not give a spaces also it won't allow a space even space also. right now let me declare one more value here now let's say observe let's say so this cone for second product 10.15 observe team getting error why i'm getting error just so but for error just move a cursor here it will give you suggestion the boss duplicate variable so discount value should not maintain a duplicate variable names always remember your class name should be unique your package name should be unique even your variable name should be unique you should not maintain a duplicate classes duplicate packages duplicate variables you can change like this let's say discount value one discount value two now this is a unique now this is a unique right so what the next next point no duplicates variable name allow clear team No questions, right? Yeah. Right. And so, as I said earlier, so the first point, so we should not use Java reserved keywords. Right. So there are certain Java reserved keywords team around 50. So I'll give you the list here, Java reserved keywords. So anyway, we can uh, we'll cover all these reserved keywords end of the day. But have a look. Try to uh, remember the keywords. And anyway, Eclipse will highlight Java all the reserved keywords. But have a look and try to read this thing and try to remember. Let's say already. So we have covered so many things right here. Byte, here a cap, class, right? So there are some keywords we have already covered here. So these are all Java reserved keywords. There are around 50 here. So as of here, we have 49. Let's try to uh, go through this one. Whenever you have a time, just go through this one. So what is this new keyword and what is this one? Where we have to use? Anyway, we'll we'll cover all these things. Anyway, you can able to so detect this one in Eclipse. So all the keywords I'm covering here. So end of the day, we'll get to know all the keyword must, but so I'll recommend you to read this ones and try to remember all the keywords. Clear team? 
should yeah. not use Java resort queue. Right? And remember to observe the magic team. Let's say, let me declare a number int a equals to 100. So declaring a variable a 100 for understanding purpose, let's say h. See here, this is we are calling as declaring a variable or variable name. But observe the magic. So by the time of declaration, by the time of declaration, so here we are giving the we are following the syntax data type variable name equals to variable value after your statement just to end with semicolon. That's it. That is the syntax. Now if you want to use, let's say I want to print it. So already we know printing statement SIS4 control space. Right. Now let's say I want to use this hundred value. I remember team, if you want to this hundred use the hundred value. You should not use this 100 value directly like this. Let's say I want to print this variable. How to call is here line number six. What will happen to line number six? What will happen? There will be a memory allocation for your value. So if you want to call or if you want to use further that the value, you have to call this variable name. The main purpose of the variable name is further use. You can call the value by using that variable name. Right now, I want to use this value here in the sound line. Just I want to print it. How to print it in value? How to print it value? Variable. Yes. Yes. Can I give like this? No. No, no semicolons. Without. So, Double quote. Double quote. Exactly. So now it will print. Right? Now I want to print like this. Now I want to get as it is below in my console. How to give? Simple thing. Inside double quotes, just to give h equals to here getting error. This is a number, right? So this is holding a value, which is a hundred. This is a string multiple. We always remember if you are giving a multiple characters inside a double quotes, it's always a string. We have already data type, right? Always a string. If you are giving a multiple characters inside a double quotes, that's always a string. Here, this entire thing is a string. So you can concat the string and the variable using concatenate operator plus. No observe here. How to execute this program team? Just right click, run as Java application. Simple. This age will get you 100 value. Now I'm giving age equals to for understanding purpose. Right now. So what is the syntax to declare a variable team? Syntax is data type based on your value, variable name, and equals to your variable value and with semicolon. Always remember, always remember, let me remove this line number eight. See, so for the time, for, for the declaring a variable, so always variable value is optional. Even we, you can declare a variable without a value. Always variable value is optional. Then you can ask the question. So what is the purpose of data type variable name without a value? Yes or no? Right now. Observe here. Here. If you want, you can declare a variable value. Observe it. This is simply declaring a variable value. Here, I am declaring variable value and assigning a value. See here, line number six. What is my, uh, what is this age value, to, value, value team? 100, right? Now let's say, let me give a 10. Right now, 
system.pintl age. If I execute the program, what is the output? What is the output team? If I execute this program, just observe. Oh, yeah, exactly. So the value is it will give you the 10 because my variable holding a value 10. Let's say, see here, here, so even you can observe here. So if I don't use this line number seven, you don't get any other. So please, team, can you please keep on mute, getting a rich. Thanks. Right? Now, observe team, to, dig, to uh, understand this one, so I have to cover one more topic. Now, let me cover the topic called types of variables. So mainly we can divide the variables into the three types team. So actually the four type, let's cover three types first. First one is local variable, right? Now, what does it mean by local variable? Observe here. So based on a position, people are saying this variable local and global. Let's say first one is local. So what does it mean by local variable, right? So if you declare a variable, if you declare a variable inside a class and inside a method, that is we are calling it as a local variable. Now what is, as of now, what is my position of this local uh, val variable team? It is inside a class and also inside a method. Now we can say this is local variable. Where we have to declare in position, observe the position. As of now, my variable position is where? Inside a class, inside a method. So if you declare a variable inside a class, inside a method, that is we are calling as a local variable. Even you can declare a variable outside of the method, inside of the class. So obviously, whatever you're writing the code, that should be inside a class, right? Now, even you can declare a variable inside class. This is we are calling as global variable. Based on a position team, based on a position, people divided variable type. First one is a local variable inside a class, inside a method global variable inside a class outside of the method and inside function or you can say function and the second one is global variable Clear to you? Right. Now, see, observe here. First of all, let's concentrate on this local variable. So, what does it mean by local variable? Inside a class, inside a method. So, if you declare a variable inside a class and inside a method, we are calling a local variable. So, you can use locally. Let's say system.out.println age. Here, what is the output team? If I execute this one, line number eight, what could be the output? 10. 10. Here, you'll get a 10, right? Observe team. So, by the time of declaring val variable, so the syntax is data type, variable name, and the variable value. But here, 
variable value is always optional i'm saying here let's say if you don't have this line number eight let me comment it single comment now if you don't have a variable value you don't get any other but if you're trying to use the variable without assigning a value you will get a error observe here here what they saying here boss initialize the variable boss you haven't initialized this age variable but you are trying to print it there is no value over there just initialize that va variable value nothing but assign a value for this variable before using it getting the yeah so what it is saying here just initialize so if you move the cursor over there you will get to know so initialize a variable boss you haven't a value here then you are trying to print it that's a mistake just give a value before use it so local variable always inside a class inside a method local to this particular method see outside of this particular method you cannot use the main intention of this local e is see local this is low this is a local to this particular method going forward we will get in more details so as of now local nothing but inside a method so let's say uh, commonly if i say hyderabad local so i'm i'm, I'm uh, living inside hyderabad so i'm have a hyderabad local so this variable is local variable this is local to this particular method so you can use only inside this method you cannot use outside of this method if you try to use this outside method you will get error so you have a permission to use this variable only inside this method that's why this is a local variable local variable always where team so local variable inside a class and inside a method and the here point here is you can use inside the method which you have declared inside here you cannot use without assign value local variable right and coming to the global variable see global variable inside a class outside of the method you can declare a variables so uh, previously what we have discussed in whatever you want to write the code your code must be inside a class and inside a method so outside of the method you cannot maintain a code but there is one condition here outside of the methods inside of the class you can declare variables just you, you are allowing to declare a variable that's it you are not allowed to write a code just you can declare variables why here i am saying the global variable if you declare a variable outside of the method you can use anywhere in this particular class that's why so we are saying is a global variable global to this particular class so i can say you can use anywhere in the project just as of now as of now just limit to outside of the method inside of the method that's it here i want to uh, i want to let you know the position of the variable where you can declare variables you can declare inside a method you can declare outside a method but the limitation if you declare inside method so without assigning a value you can not use it clear team yeah global variable if you declare a variable so globally you can use anywhere so what is this anywhere we'll discuss no problem at all as of now understand you can use anywhere in the class right and there is a one more variables static nothing but there is a 
Java reserved keyword called static. So you can apply static keyword for your variable. If you apply static keyword for your variable, that is static variable. Observe here. This is my variable, right? You can apply a static keyword. Observe here. Before of my data type, I can give static. Now this is static variable. Right, observe. Try to apply the same static keyword for my local variable. Getting error. Line number seven. Move the cursor over there. So remove invalid modifier. Boss, you cannot make your local variable as a static. So the static keyword, you can apply for only a global variable, not a local variable. Why the static? Why we are applying here? So we'll discuss later. So as of now, for time being understanding. So local variable, clear, right? Inside a class, inside a method. Global variable, clear, right? Inside a class, outside the method. And static variable, with static variable, with static keyword. That static keyword you can apply for only global variable. Clear team? Any questions here? Team, any questions? No. And let's discuss. So when we have to declare a local variable, when we have to go for a lo global variable, when we have to go for a static variable, right? Now, so if you have a requirement, so that, so you have, you can uh, use the variable only inside a particular method. At that time, go for a local variable because this local variable, you cannot use outside of the method, this particular method. So when we have to go for local variable, if you have a requirement to use a variable only inside this method, go for a local variable. Or if you have a requirement, so if you want to use a variable, entire class level, go for a global variable. So when do we have go static variable? If it is not changing object to object, so as of now, object is out of discussion. So if you want to, uh, if you don't want to change a value again and again, go for a static variable. And why we have to change the values? Let me discuss. Again, it's a plain glance. See here. Let me declare a global variable. Where I have to declare a global variable team? So you have to declare outside the method outside the method as of now do you have any method no right let me no. declare a variable int age equals to 10 here this is my global variable so as i said earlier but the syntax for declaring a variable is variable name variable value variable uh, data type variable name equals to variable value always your variable value is optional this is just declaring a variable right now so if you want to take a value for this can i take like this simple basic why i'm getting error you can guess it. Variable name. Duplicate, duplicate variable. Exactly, duplicate variable. So here already I have declared variable first time. Here I am try trying to declare one more variable second time. Hence, I am getting error. 
right now observe here so if you want to uh, declare a variable value just remove this data type but it should be inside a method so better as of now let me take a static so why i'm taking a static here you will get to know in later sessions this is a static variable observe here let me take a main method observe here. now line number four so what is my variable value name where variable value global value what is the value of that variable what is the value of that variable name variable thing right yeah. you can guess it team see am i giving any name any value here no value no value right now observe try to print it default value maybe exactly see earlier i have given example see if it is a local variable so before using this local variable you have to declare a value but here this is a global variable so if you don't declare a variable a value for a global variable don't get any error but if it is a local variable so if you are using a local variable without declaring a value you will get an error but but global variable observe the output here what could be the output zero. zero here if you if you don't assign a value for a global variable but still if you are trying to use it by the time of execution of your program jvm will declare a default value for your variables based on a data type here who is giving this zero team JVM. by the time of program execution your jvm will declare a variable value for your variable based on a data type so my data type is int right observe here if it is int it will declare a zero for byte short int long so the default values are 0 0 0 if you are using a float double so default values are 0 0.0 for a cap so null which is a special character try to execute this thing and let me know tomorrow okay now the boolean default value is false and string the default value is null So when you will get this number where default values team, if you don't declare a values for your variable by the time of execution, who will assign a values? Your JVM will assign a values. That to what type of variables? Global variables, not a local variable. Right? Now sir. Line number four. So this is a default value zero. Right? Now line number six now tell me if i execute this program what could be the output Ten. who is answer the, the 10 yeah me Bhavya, Bhavya. Right? yeah so Bhavya says 10 Ashwini, your answer. Ten or zero? Sorry, maybe it's. I don't know priority. Maybe it, uh, it can take global variables. Narish, Narish, your answer, please. Maybe it's zero. Good. It's now it takes global value. Now let me declare a value for this hundred. Now, what could be the output? 100. So, Shri said 100. Boy, your answer? 
no idea like i don't know which uh, which is jvm which gives priority to no problem no problem see and here the one more key point you have to remember so what is the condition team for a variables you cannot maintain duplicate here you cannot maintain duplicates right but so here you can maintain duplicate variable names that is what my my I, that's what i want to want to know first point you can if you want you can maintain a duplicate variables but one should be global another should be a local right that's the first point now question what to be the output here so better my global variable i'm saying 100 let me take my local variables 200 no confusion 100 200 now tell me if i execute this program what could be the output 100 or 200 let's see so i'm executing the program run as java application 200 that means so here i'm getting a local variable value or global variable value local variable value so here whenever you have a variables with the same name global and local always system gives a priority to for your local variable always priority gives to which one team local one. i'll give you a simple example if there is any government notification or any uh, notification we'll take the first priority team, local candidates right yes sir yeah. yeah so just remember this point so whenever you have a variable name with a common name so always first local variable take the precedence your local variables execute first now observe i am removing this local variable line number six observe team so by coloring also you can able to understand observe here line number seven what is my age color age variable color this color right? orange brown, so, brown sorry if you click on this one so it will highlight this one now let me remove my sixth line local variable observe observe line number seven now this time what could be the output 100 100 there is no local variable right no issues so when the conflict come whenever you have a global variable local variable with a common name so always a priority goes to the local one if there is a no there is no local variable now always priority for a global one no problem what if they have different names like uh, global and variable, local there is no any issues let's say so global variable name is a local variable name is b here i'm trying to, if you want you can use a comes from a global if you want you can use b comes from a local okay thank you so what the variable you are trying to use that's what the question here there is no conflict right if both are a common names then the conflict comes which has to give first priority if there is a both unique names there is no conflict yeah got it clear team so we discussed the variable variable nomenclature how to give the variable name team first of all start with the lower case any subsequent word capital case and the nomenclature by the time of giving a variable name name you should have always so you should not use java reserve keywords and no special characters except dollar and underscore so including space no duplicates variable names allowed and you should be used a java you should not use java reserve keywords and so whenever you have a local variable and cover variable with a common name always local variable name local variable takes the precedence 
and based on a position and static keyword the people are so categorized the variable types are local variable global variable static variable local in sense inside a method global in sense outside of the method static in sense with static keyword what you can take a static keyword only global variable not for the local and always remember so if you want to declare a variables the syntax is what team data type variable name equals to variable value so out of data type and variable name equals variable value always variable value is optional but here so local variables so you cannot use local variable without variable value declaration clear team very very basics this these are so these so try to understand the key points main key points try to remember these key points okay so please let me know if you have any questions No, it's clear, but I can't hear you properly. Some disturbance is coming. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. In the last five minutes. Sorry, sorry for that. My side problem or our, your side problem? I don't know. Is that same to you, Bhavya, Narish? It's no, clear. no, we can hear clearly. Okay, thank you. My side. Okay. Okay, team. So that's what for the day. So we discuss about in detail variables and we have a one more variable types team so this is not at right time to discuss this thing we'll discuss later but so we can cover this is class type or object type is the one more variable type class type of object type we'll discuss. So after the covering this class object we'll discuss there are four types of variables hope you have a good clarity on the variables naming variable and variable types location and here let me give one more observe here so line number a line a variable line number seven what is the value team here no value it's a local variable so if you want to use you have to declare a value line number five what is my variable value here 10 yes or no so here if i execute this program what could be the output here 10 10 thanks right now observe so line number five variable value is 10 let's say let me take line number six why I'm getting error? Duplicate, Duplicate variable now. Very good. Let me remove data type. Now, if I execute this program, what could be the output? Why are you thinking that much, team? Maybe 10. It should 10 because my variable value line number 5 10 line number 6 10 now let me update value observe here so here i am assigning a value here i am updating a value line number 6 instead of 10 let me take a 20. now here so if i execute the program what with the output line number 7 10 or 20 20 i think Observe always it will give updated value so first line line number five i'm declaring a variable line number six i'm updating my existing variable value
right now so if you want you can update one more value let's say line number seven and say making 30. now here what could be outputting 30. very good it should be 30 of the dot and as the option right now let me move to here now tell me team here what is the output 10 20 30 20 why 20 i have updated 30 right but before we uh, printed the uh... A value that's very good well. good see always remember team java program is a sequential execution java program execution order is sequential execution it will execute the program line by line i'll give you more clarity on tomorrow session why it is line by line so as of now so here line number five it's a value i'm declaring 10 no problem line number six i'm updating with 20. Now, line number cells, uh, 7, I am printing the value which is a recent one. It will execute the value which is recent one. So, I will give you like this thing. So, so, whenever you declare a value, so inside a JVM, let us consider this is a JVM memory, there will be allocation of memory for your value. So, let us say this is it. 10. What the name you are giving for this variable team? Yeah. Whenever you say 20, you know, if you update this 20, now this variable value or this variable name remains same, but the value is updated with 20. Now it will come 20 which is updated one now if you print this one below this thirty observe now what is output in line number nine t here you will get a thirty updated one because recently the updated value is what thirty here you will get a 20. Let me execute. 20 from line number 7, 30 from line number 9. Declaring a variable, data type, variable name, variable value, updating existing value. And if you want, you can update a variable value based on your requirement any number of times. If you if you want you can keep on updating your variable value let's say this time 40 let's say this time 50. if you want you can keep on updating your existing values up to you Waiting. Yeah. So that's all for the day. So we'll connect tomorrow again eleven thirty a.m. Okay. We'll discuss few more inter interesting topics. So anyway, uh, my uh, issue got resolved. So I hope I have given endpoint for this. No issues. <coughs> So any questions team can i maintain the same flow or please let me know if you want uh, more clarity or if any concept more uh, clarity or so if you want 
can i maintain any uh, little bit slower no, no. actually we are good good it's good okay thank you team so we'll connect tomorrow 9:30 okay thanks okay. Thank so please you. practice please practice uh, start your practice so see so if i'm writing a code so by seeing it's a very easy team yes sir no? yeah yeah, yeah. If you open Eclipse, then the real uh, picture starts. Yeah. So start your practice. So if you uh, if you neglect the practice, so trust me. So after uh, three four days, there will be a Tare Jimin Park. Have you seen Tare Jimin Park movie? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite movie. Start your practice. So anyway, this is not a much, uh, there is no subject, much subject here. So just we are in a basics. Just start a practice. Just try to understand the flow. Try to execute. Just try to declare a variables. How, what is the execution order? So how to declare, how to update. So where I'm getting errors. So if you if you keep on a practice, if you keep on doing, you'll be happy to use the Eclipse team. So you can simply understand, see, Let's say one error got here. So by seeing it, you are able to know. After practice, one or two days, right? So day to day, so you can simply your 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 fingers will move like that. Right? Try to spend some time on Eclipse. So I usually okay. say, uh, go. so if you want to be a good chef, spend more time in a kitchen. If you want to be a good uh, mechanic, spend more time in a garage. So if you want to be a good programmer, spend your time on Eclipse. Max time. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you.